All right. Welcome to the tallest hotel in the world. I will say this. It's not Hotel Javora's fault, I don't think. But because of COVID, there's only four people allowed in the elevators. And because there's so many floors, uh, our floor has two elevators that go to it. Uh -huh. And they're always full. Huge lineups. So we just took the elevator to the 40th floor and yeah. climbed up seven flights of stairs. It's faster. Yeah. <laughs> so first part of the hotel review. Uh, it's good they're following the rules. I'll say that. They're really enforcing this four people per elevator. There's like attendants on every floor saying hotel uh, elevator's full. Sorry. But man, the slowest elevator <laughs> ever. <laughs> it the hurts the it hurts the luxury stay. Yeah. This uh, waiting 25 minutes for an elevator and just saying ah and going for the stairs. Yeah. It sucks. Cool. But I will say the room is fantastic. Yes, the room is amazing. By far the most luxurious room we've stayed in in all of Dubai. Um, it actually comes with a kitchen. Ooh, there's a stove there. So you've got a stove and you've got a washing machine which we really use. Yes, amazing. Washing machine was. Fantastic. I will say this, it costs $100 a night here. We've stayed at the Rove Hotel on the beach mm -hmm. for $100 a night. And we've stayed at Grand Excelsior in Bur Dubai for $30 a night. So this video is going to be sort of like comparing all three hotels. I will say we expected a little bit more from yes. Javora Hotel. Yes, this one costs 300 dirham per night. Which is like 100 Canadian, maybe like 80 American. Yes. Um, I will say the windows are filthy dirty. It's hard to complain about that. It's like we're like 48 floors in the air or something. Yes, although the view is beautiful. Let me just show you guys. Give yeah. me a minute. The view right is here. really special. Ooh, but the but you window can see is the window gnarly. a little bit. You can see the window a little bit dirty here. But the view is incredible. We watched the sunset from our room yesterday. Nice. And we watched the nighttime view from our room, which yeah. was incredible. The nighttime view is actually the best part. Yeah, all the lights are good. on and the headlights of the cars are going past and so you just kind of watch them go past. Yes. Really nice. Um, yeah, bed, which actually is very comfortable. Very comfortable bed, I must say. Comfiest bed in Dubai so far. I will say yes. this, uh, the food here, so we just had breakfast on the rooftop. Ooh, yes. I will say the food is non-spectacular. Yes, the food is and for that breakfast, it cost 128 dirham for the both of us, which is a little bit expensive for the quality of food that we received. Now, yeah. as we're eating... It's nothing special. We're outside. It's kind of hot, you know. They have some outdoor air conditioners, but it's still warm. I said, oh, can I have a bottle of water? I just didn't even ask the price. Just a bottle of water. Comes, drink the water. The bill comes... Uh, four American dollars for the bottle of water. For the small bottle. <laughs> the small one. I was, small. Like, I was like, yo, how expensive are these elevators to run? Because if you go down the elevator to the street, it's one dollar out there. <laughs> I'm like, man, that's an expensive bottle of water. But, um, it is what it is. Yes. The room here is very special. I will say the food at Grand Excelsior, which mm -hmm. is $30 a night, three zero thirty dollars $30 a night. The food is far better there. Than yeah, here. including food. That's the room plus yes. food, not just the so food. So $30 with food, that's better than $80 and you have to pay extra for the food. Yeah. $4 bottle of water. Overall, um, Javora has been a little rough for us. We will stay one <laughs> night. Usually we stay one night and then we um, extend our stay if we yeah. like it. But... Uh, we kind of expected more. It is the world's tallest hotel. It's the tallest hotel. But does so that really matter to your we can, personal experience of staying at a hotel? We can say we have stayed in the world's tallest True. hotel. I think that's the selling point of yeah. this hotel. Nothing special. But I do like the room. They got TV here. The room is really well Some lounge, yeah. some workspace. Uh, this is uh, the fridge. The fridge, which is really great. Some it stuff. Even, it even comes with like forks and knives and plates and stuff. So, so you, you guys can cook actually instead of going out for breakfast because the food here is not the, food here is not the best. This place might be worth it if you have like a kid or two. Maybe you don't want to go down all the way down and go find food. You make your own food. Yeah. Like have a kitchen. It's more like an apartment almost. Yes, a small studio apartment. For two people like us who are kind of cheap, this is a lot. <laughs> to be clear, the Rove, right on the beach, yeah. was $100 per night, Same and we price. loved it there. We loved Same it there. Same price, and we loved it way so more So it's not the just Rove. the price is following us, it's just the value isn't really there for the price. Yeah. I do, I got to say, I do love the uh, washing machine in the room. We wash every <laughs> single thing we own. <laughs> yeah, um, because uh, the laundry in Dubai is kind of expensive for like a t-shirt like this, it costs 25 dirhams to do one t-shirt right? for laundry, which is expensive. So really this expensive. is kind of like saving us that money kind of nice. so 
That was our uh, my favorite part of Dubai. You and this the is the is view really on nice. the other side. The view is really nice. And I think you can see the roof there, the hotel that we oh, stayed yeah, that's at last the roof. time. Yeah, yeah, good I don't one know, one. it's very small from here. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. I think it's still small, if, even though I zoom <laughs> in enough. the camera. So I will say they do have a pool uh, oh, yeah. on the roof, which is really nice. Quite nice view crowded. from the pool, but really it's nice very view. packed. Uh, they have some shisha there. They don't have alcohol, but they have shisha. People are, people are swimming and shishaing. Uh, they also have a gym, which did you get footage of the gym? Yes. Okay, I couldn't get footage. The thing is, the men's and women's gym are separate. Yeah. So I didn't get any footage of the men's gym. I did peek in, but there's a bunch of guys with no shirts on doing <laughs> workouts. And I'm like, I'm not going to film these guys. I'm going to get punched out. No one but was no. working out in the women's side. The women's side. was empty. They don't work out. We it, go to the pool yeah. and dip in while the men is working out. The men do the, the bench press and the women sunbathe. Yeah. <laughs> and the view from the pool, I must say, is very nice. The gym really nice. is kind of small. Yeah, it's it is really good. Small, For us, yeah. we're not the biggest health freaks. We would like to work out together. Yeah, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do, <laughs> but we need uh, moral support. For me to go alone and you to go alone, I think we both do a lazy half workout. True or no? Yes, <laughs> yes, True. yes. So there you have it, guys. The room yeah. is super nice, to be honest. The room is nice. The room is super duper nice. And yes, I guess let me just show you a bathroom here. Sure, sure. Simple bathroom. Just right there. But yeah. This is what I paid four American dollars for. <coughs> Kinda expensive. I was like four bucks. I was like I should have asked. I just it just because in the room they give you it's a couple even, bottles. It's even but if you ask at the restaurant, four bucks. Yeah, it's even expensive for like a big bottle of water. I'm gonna say for that price, and we got a small one. A big one for four bucks would be a lot. A small one for four bucks is crazy. Yeah. That's life. But um, I will say it's super Instagrammable. It's like the tallest hotel yeah, in the gosh. world. Ooh. But does it really matter? Like for your personal experience of your stay and now the quality of your stay. Does it matter if it's taller than the one beside it? If this was a second tallest hotel, would it be like less cool? I'm it's just, it's kind of a, I'm it's, it seems to be very Dubai. Yeah. Just having the Guinness World Record of tallest in the world or longest zip line or like biggest this, it's, it's very marketable. It's yeah. kind of like Dubai. Dubai is built for marketing and travel and they built this, I'm sure they built it on purpose to be the, the tallest. It wasn't, an, lifestyle. Yes, it wasn't an accident where they built it and went, oh, Look at that, it's the tallest. This was, they did it on purpose to market it that way. Um, but the value for me just wasn't there. Yeah. Still loving Dubai, having a good time. I would say Grand Excelsior in Bird Dubai for 30 bucks. That's the place to be. Yes. That's that the one. best value we've seen. Or yes. the Rove is really good. Yes. I must say though, the hotel around this area where the downtown area is near Burj Khalifa, they're a little bit pricey. So the price for this hotel is reasonable. Not so bad in, for the area. It's not so bad i will say a bunch of the and, guests uh, here are young good looking trendy people they definitely marketed this place well yeah i wonder if most people are enjoying their stay or if they think it's a little bit too much for us uh a little bit too much yeah the value just wasn't quite there what we should have done honestly i tried to convince ivana last minute was to do a cooking vlog in here first but time... actually i just checked the pantry and they don't have any pants oh yeah so they got no pants no oh so i mean that's kind of... You can cook. Maybe you can ask them. Maybe you ask them and they give you a pan. Yeah. I don't know. I think... Or maybe I think this hotel was built for an apartment before and they just turned it into a hotel. Could be. That's what I it mean, is. it's a nice place. You can see the way it's designed and it's super clean and the staff are really great. I will say in Dubai, the staff are a top level. Yes. Everywhere sure. you go, the staff are really great. I don't want to be too mean to Javora, Gavora, um, but it just wasn't... The value just wasn't there for us. Right. Although, I must say, I love the bed. It's very comfortable. Again, you are paying for the few, Steve, but if only the window is clean. Look True. at the view. Isn't it beautiful? It is really special. It really see... is beautiful. Yeah, the way And you, you can it... see the metro line right there. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I think on the other side, you can see the Burj Khalifa. If you get the other side of the room, you, you can see Burj Khalifa, and which we got to see during our breakfast this during morning. Breakfast. Uh, you see this? What? This is a camel racing track. Oh, really? I think so. Look, it looks like a racetrack. Huh. Cool. Interesting. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's right. Interesting. Okay. There you have it, guys. So, of all the three places we stayed, Ivana, do your final rankings of all three. Best place we stayed, second best, and then least least value. Um. Same as me. I know what you're going to say. 
Grand Excelsior, Rove. Yes. Grand Excelsior and Rove, almost the same. They're yes, different, almost the same. Different type of combinations, but they've both done their type of combination. They've done it very well. The value that they're charging for those places for Rove Hotel and for Grand Excelsior, they worth top the shelf. value. Yeah, top shelf. This one here is mid-level value. Mid-level. Yes, yes, yes. I'm trying to be polite. It's yeah, the swimming pool is just too crowded all the time, and the lift, the elevator. The elevator's not their fault, <laughs> it's the COVID thing, but it really sucks yeah. to stay in the elevator, and then the first one comes, and the open door's open, and they look at you, and you go, I know, and they close, and they go away. But Next still, one comes, even, I think even pull with again, the, and it goes away. Even <laughs> without COVID, I think it's still very slow. Seems like it. But the room, I must say, really nice. Nice room. There you have it, guys. I can't believe yeah. our two weeks in Dubai is almost over. Mm-hmm. We got one more day. A couple more days and then... Uh, Have you enjoyed your stay? Opinion. Yeah, I had a good time in Dubai. Okay, great. Why not? Yes. It was nice. Okay, amazing. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. Tallest hotel in the world. Woohoo! We stayed at the tallest hotel in the world. What? We can say that to our friends. That's what we're paying for, you know, after all. That's what we're paying for. Yeah. Is the, the height of the building. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. All right. Welcome, welcome to the luxury <laughs> hotel. Find my little stairs. Absolutely, we're just packing up now. We might be a little bit late because the elevator is very slow, but we'll be out of the room by twelve. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> oh, for sure, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, another thing, they're very strict uh, about checking out time. <laughs> so yeah. We'll be out by 12, but we might be at the front desk at 12 30. Yeah. Just being honest. She goes, Oh, for sure, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other hotels, the other two hotels, they're very flexible with our checkout time. They're like 3 p.m., no problem. Here, 12 p.m., must go out. That's life. Yes. All right. Let's pack up and go.